uh, Neil is going to turn some cars. We, uh, every year, um, at the Roanoke, uh, celebrate, and also at the Denton Arts and Jazz Festival, I think I'm in the camera here, do a, uh, um, a booth where we hand out cars to all the kids and, and so forth. We've got the blanks back there. There's, uh, they're taped up. There's five blanks. That, that produces ten cars. The wheels and the little pegs are in the bags right next to it. So if you want to do this, great opportunity. There's also a um, sheet there with some car designs. Um, that's pretty good. And bring the spacers back. Actually, I burned mine, uh, and, I'll, and I'll explain why. So um, it doesn't really take very long, just to kind of make a long story even longer. Um, last year, I was kind of new to the club. And uh, when this opportunity came out, I thought, oh, I don't know about turning a two by four. So I, I passed. Uh, and then I went to uh, the Arts and Jazz Festival and got to turn some. I also went to the Roanoke and got to, to turn a bunch. And it actually became kind of fun. Now I just, when I got a few minutes, I'll go grab five cards and start turning them away. And it only takes me, you know, a few minutes each car. Now I'm not as fast as Neil. <laughs> And actually, we were talking at the, the last meeting. There's some in the club that can turn it fairly quick, like a couple of minutes per car. So just because they can turn fast doesn't mean we have to all turn them that fast, right? But uh, Neil's going to demonstrate for us uh, basically how, how easy and how quick it is to turn one. And uh, I'll let you have at her. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Well, at least somebody is happy about me doing this. Um, OK, so before you get started, probably the first thing you should do is uh, decide what shape you want, although you don't have to. Sometimes I decide as I'm doing it. But you can do all kinds of shapes. And Mike brought a number here. Where can I, where do you have the overhead camera? Would, it, would that work? So um, maybe it's easier to do one at a time. So here's one, for example. <laughs> So, uh, for example, here's one. If you can see that. Here's another. Just leave it down. Can okay. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. Um, here's, here's another one. Oh. <laughs> well, it was, it was in an accident. So. Neil, I was bored one night, and so I actually threw a couple little like an exhaust pipe right there, if you can see it. Here's one, another one with that. Put the exhaust on the back. You don't have to do that, but. Notice also the rings that, you, that he put on, that Mike put on there. He burnt those rings in. And here's a truck. And that's how I did. OK. So you can make a lot of different shapes. Um, I made a couple at home just to practice. And um, I didn't have the blanks or anything, so I just cut two by fours and tried it. So that may not look like a car to you, but uh, that's going to be a car. When it gets cut in two, it still won't look like a car, but when you put the wheels on, it always looks like a car. It doesn't matter what shape it is. But that's like, that's like a racer or something. So that makes two cars. Makes two cars, yeah. Because we'll cut down the middle, and there's a car on top, car on the bottom. And the blanks actually already are pre drilled. So you're set once you cut them, once you, get, once you get the shape, you cut the middle, then you can just stick the wheels in. OK, uh, so here's a convertible. Can you see the convertible? And here's, a, I don't know what it is, minivan maybe, or a little truck, something like that. But, but you, can, you can you know, make whatever shape you want. One thing that you want to watch out for, though, if you get a 2 by 4 you know, these aren't the most expensive woods that are available. Um, they're just studs, you know, stud two by fours. So often you get a, a knot in it. For ones like this, you know what the best thing to do is? Am I going to throw that away for me? Yep. <laughs> just don't even try because pieces will come off and it's not going to be a good car anyway. So make sure you get one that's, you know, it looks pretty good. Like this one's pretty clear. It's got a little knot here, but that won't hurt, I don't think. Let's see. Um, I put my glasses somewhere. Right on the. They're right here. 
I need them. Okay, so um, I don't have a face shield tonight, but uh, I hope I won't need it. Okay, so what you do is you first center it. They should all be marked with a center on each end. So you center them. Oops. This is probably a little bit more than what I should be doing. I'm half blind, so for me, I got a little center punch, and I'll just let that spring load put the little hole in it before I it in. I often do that too, but I don't have one tonight. So. So. Anyway, you need it centered. Um, so I'm set to go there. Um, okay, so the question is, what tool do you use? It doesn't matter. You use whatever tool you feel comfortable with. We're doing uh, spindle turning here, so um, it's okay to use uh, roughing gouge. So I'm going to start with that. Oh, let's see. Let me. I'm going to raise this a little bit. Of course, you always turn the lathe off before you move the tool rest. Okay, so um, first thing I like to do is just kind of take a little bit off the top. If you take too big a bite, it can be a problem because. Uh, as it's spinning around, you have, as it's spinning around this way, when you're on this edge, it wants to chip out. If you take a big piece out, you're going you're gonna to get a big chunk. And I think one of these has, like here you can see there's a chunk that came out. I probably tried to take too much there. So, so start with this. Now some people can use a roughing gouge all the way down. If you want to do that, that's fine. So roughing gouge works. This is a roughing gouge I got from Harbor Freight. It works good. In fact, I prefer this one over the regular one for this because I can get details with this one because it's not quite as round. So, uh, you know, you just take some off. I'm going to start shaping up. This, this is going to be the front of the car. So I'll just start bringing some in. Now, I don't know if you can see it from there, but can you see where the wheels are when you look into here? So you can see the wheels, so that gives you an idea of where, how you want to shape it. Um, you don't have to use a roughing gouge. Uh, if you just use a regular spindle gouge, that worked great too. So if you want to use a, just a regular spindle gouge, that's going to be the windshield. There's the hood. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to work on the back a little bit. I'll just kind of bring it in. Now if you haven't if you haven't done any air turning where you're not against wood the whole time it's turning where some of it it's just you're you're cutting air basically it works the same way. You just don't worry about it. Just don't take too big a piece at a time and it should work fine. Just make sure that you ride the bevel. I probably should move my tool rest a little bit to get that. Um, let me get this a little better. You could call that a car if you want. That, that would be enough. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make it a convertible. So I'll just make a hole in the middle here. And you don't have to use a spindle gouge. You can, if you have a smaller spindle gouge that you like to use, that works fine too. Or, if you want, you could use a bowl gouge. You can use anything you want, basically. So if you like to use a bowl gouge, it works fine. Although, I don't like it. Another thing you can use is a detail gouge. This is a detail gouge. If you like detail gouges, I, that's probably one of my favorite things to use. It does a nice job of cutting, and it, uh, it's pretty fast. So I'm just kind of smoothing this up a bit. And if you want, there's a, you could use this is a scoochie gouge. You can even use that if you want. I don't recommend that so much because um, a bigger gouge is a little bit easier, but it has its advantages too. So the point is, you can use any tool you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, and basically, that's a car. That's all there is to it.
I wouldn't. <laughs> but you could. You could. You could. Now, you'd have a little trouble making the cove with the skew, I think. But, um, okay, so it may not look like a car yet, but cut it in half, put wheels on, and you have two cars. And that's, that's all there is to it. So you can, make one of the, you can make them pretty fast. So are there any questions about it? Okay, that's it. Thanks, Bill. You're welcome.